When you've got so many things to do, how do you know where to get started? Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to another week on my channel and to another segment of Win and Fails where I'm sharing my updates on running my business and how I'm about to plan my next week. And so last week I've been on a snowboarding vacation with a couple of friends. It's been super, super good. And if you've been following on Instagram, you could have seen that I did pretty well on my snowboarding. Now I'm back at the office, good to be back, but overwhelmed with all the things that I have to do this week, obviously it took a week off. Um, good thing that the business didn't crash, so that's fine. Um, but now I'm thinking about how I should structure this week to you know, plan and achieve my goals. And so obviously when I have so many things on my plate, so many new ideas, so many things that you know happened last week that I wanna react to, there's a lot of overwhelm in, se in a sense of there's just so many things to do. And there is one thing that kind of like something that my coach asked me and he always, every week he kind of tells me this and I find this really helpful and I wanna share this with you. So basically he asks me, he always tells me relax. It's all about the sequencing, all right? So there's a lot of things to do, but it really matters what do you do first. So what things can you do this week that if you do them, will reduce some of the work that you have to do next week or will make things easier or will help you grow? Because obviously you can get started on the most urgent things, but that's not necessarily what's gonna help you grow because you might do this urgent thing tomorrow, you're gonna to have another urgent thing and then another urgent thing and you keep grinding at the same place. So it's all about sequencing. What can I do first that will help easy, other tasks become easier? And for me, I, I kind of thought about this. It's basically, it's the fundamentals of my business. So my new business is, you know, the Webflow Masterclass is selling courses online and it's kind of like a content, content platform. And so to make things easier, I have to think what are the fundamentals of my business? Right now, the way people are kind of finding out about this is either through my content or I'm also doing Facebook advertising at the moment, which is starting to pick up finally, which I'm super ha happy about this. And so people are going, uh, arriving at my sales page. Some of them watch my free webinar that I have. And then I start, so right now, either they buy or they don't buy, but I don't do any kind of like follow-up. And building this follow-up, kind of the email sequence of, hey, you've showed me that you're interested, you signed up for something, you signed up for the webinar or you signed up on my website, but I'm not following up with you. And if I follow up with them, if I create this, one-time sequence that automatically will be sent to people who show interest, that will make my life much easier because it's kind of gonna put the user acquisition or the new customer acquisition on uh, autopilot for me. It's gonna do the work for me so I don't have to stress next week on finding new customers again and again. People have already shown me that they're interested, I'm just gonna follow up with them. So right now I just do this sporadically, either by sending emails when I have something smart to say or kind of like blog post or when I'm doing this content, but this require constant effort. And if I set up, which is what I plan to do this week, set up kind of all the email automations for people who sign up, for people who purchase, for all these different kind of like um, automations, that's gonna make my life much easier. One more thing around that, around the automation is I get people ask me questions a lot and regarding Webflow's masterclass and I don't have kind of a proper maybe FAQ page or questions and answer and so I happen to reply and reply and reply over and over again with the same answers. And so one of the things that I wanna set up is kind of like a knowledge base where I have answers to all the questions people ask me over and over again so that next time I can just paste the link let them uh, tell them like, here you go, you can see the, the answer over there. And I think that, you know, thinking about this, like in sequencing, like what is the fundamentals of your business? I never used to do that, even when, you know, my core business was kind of like uh, serving clients and doing freelance, I never had kind of like fundamental structures, right? And recently I saw kind of an agency that I was working with that kind of had like really structured onboarding for clients, which was automated and was like step-by-step -step kind of process that I thought, wow, this is wonderful. I should have done that to my, you know, consulting business as well, but I never took care of the fundamentals. So 
key takeaway for this week is think about what is the fundamental things that you can do this week and so you don't have to repeat the process again and again with each new customers with each new project that you're doing might be you know how you manage your your project management tool or project setup or whatever if you're doing this over and over again you might want to spend some time thinking how you can automate this or create a setup where it's going to be easier for you so this is my week. Also, one more thing that I'll be doing this week, which I'm pretty excited about, is I'm going to uh, create a new webinar that I'll do next week live on how to find great clients. This is something that I'm doing like a private live event for the students of my Webflow Masterclass to bring them more value. And I'm super excited about this. I'm going to create a new kind of presentation from scratch. and I want this to be super, super awesome. So I'm excited about this. If you're a student, watch out for an email about the timing of this event next week. I think it's going to be super, super well. All right. Hope you guys are having a great week. I have great videos lining up for you this week on my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys. Tomorrow.